In today's video, I want us to talk about risk management. Risk management is very important as you invest in any market out there. But for this case, I want us to talk about crypto. Most of you who are part of my community or you are subscribed to my platform, I want to believe that you are here to make money and you want to take every advantage you see out there. Today, I want to give you guys different scenarios that you can apply when you trade or invest in cryptocurrency. This, you can apply in any other market out there. You are welcome back to my platform. This is The Better on Crypto, where I create content that will make you money, content that will help you make better decisions investing in cryptocurrency. So if this sort of content interests you, then you want to go right now and smash the subscribe button. Having said that, let me dive right away into what I got for you today. Let's assume that you have only $1,000 or let me just say you have only $500 or $100 to invest in crypto. This is the only amount you have and you want to build something sustainable with that amount of money the things you need to avoid when you start trading is fomo avoid fomoing into project fomo is fear of missing out if say someone tells you that a project is pumping avoid buying the project at that time do research in the market follow different crypto platforms or channels that are talking about price actions where we might expect certain coins to go at what time or at what period in time let's say bitcoin you might be watching different channels that says bitcoin might go to this level so they do technical analysis to look at different directions where you can start buying bitcoin or where you can buy bitcoin at a cheaper rate or at a more favorable rate if say you go through these channels or through these platforms and you realize that these guys have real win um like win cases you know in the past maybe not 100 percent, but most of the times they are right so you want to look at those guys and try to see how you can apply this to your own trading strategy or trading plan so let's say you have just hundred dollars and you want to invest in crypto don't go and buy every crypto you see out there let's say 10 10 10 10 dollars like five cryptos for ten dollars no don't do that you can choose, let's say at most three, but at least two. You can choose two crypto projects and you start buying anytime you see a 10% or 5% or 20% downtrend or downward movement. I don't know what percentage you might be willing to buy, but I think 10% is okay for me if, say, I want to DCA in a project. Whenever I see 10%, I buy, buy, buy. So you have to divide that $100 into five different parts or 10 different parts. Whenever you see a dip, you buy more. Whenever you see a dip, you buy more. That's what we call DCA. You DCA at the right time. Now, when you DCA, make sure you follow the trend in the market. You don't want to buy that project and hold it forever, right? Well, if, say, you are someone who have a job and you keep getting money every month and you have something aside that you can use to buy crypto, then that's good for you. Because in this case, you have an opportunity to get money every month. But when you get money every month, you don't just buy like that. You need to look at different price range where you can get in at a cheaper rate or at a more favorable rate. So when you understand all this, how to go about buying, selling, taking out profits, it will help you to get in and get out from the market easily without you losing a lot of money. Let's say you realize that the market is going down and you just you have just $100. You don't need to stay in the market with all that amount of money. You can sell half of your portfolio Keep it aside in stable coin and when you see an opportunity you buy back remember you are trying to build something sustainable with your investment so when you buy at a cheaper rate you have the opportunity to sell and get out from the market when the market is going down because the market moves in circle up and down and if so you take advantage of that movement you know up and down movement you can get in at a reasonable price let me show you guys this chart of bitcoin we have seen bitcoin have been pumping you know for the past month let me go to the monthly time frame you can see that bitcoin has been pumping like you know really nice and people have been enjoying the, the movement the right year you know ever since it started from this level sixteen thousand. 
it has been pumped to the upside. Well, at one point, investors are expecting Bitcoin to retrace, like to have a pullback. When you look at the weekly time frame, you're going to see that there is kind of like a pullback here. And I have some indicators that I use that helps me to know the trend of the market. As it stands, I think that Bitcoin is going to hold at this level, like 28,541. So if, say, I'm going to be investing in Bitcoin, I can wait a little bit to see if, say, Bitcoin hold that level for like a long time, then maybe I can buy more Bitcoin. And if, say, Bitcoin, you know, breaks this level, yeah, then I know the next level that Bitcoin can get to from the weekly time frame is go back to retest this other level, yeah, like this one, yeah. And this is a level where the Fibonacci retracement is showing me that Bitcoin can get to that level. So in this case, I already know what direction Bitcoin might be heading toward. And if say I have one hundred dollars, I can just start. And if say I have one hundred dollars, I can start by buying Bitcoin. Let's say for twenty dollars. And if say Bitcoin keep going downwards, then I can buy more at this other price point that I mentioned here that I showed you guys here. You know now. I am getting Bitcoin at a cheaper rate. But let's say I buy Bitcoin at this current price and Bitcoin falls to this price. Well, I'm losing. But if say I buy Bitcoin for $20 and Bitcoin falls, I buy it again for $20 and it goes back to that level, that means I will be even. This is important you understand how to go about investing in cryptocurrency if say you have little money. Don't just go and buy with everything you have at once make sure you understand different price actions where the market is going towards if see, you cannot do that then make sure you are connected with someone who can help you who can tell you this is the right time to buy take out profit or sell everything it's good you are connected with such people that's why i recommend you guys to always be part of my community subscribe because i want to help each and everyone out there who is part of my community to understand how to take advantage of the market. Let no one tell you buy and hold for five years just like that. You need to monitor your investment and you need to look at ways you can take advantage of the market. Let's say you are someone who don't have time, then it's good. You don't have time, but you have a good job and you can start buying um, different cryptocurrencies that you want, that you are interested in. In this case, I'm going to recommend you buy just Bitcoin, you know, because you are um, kind of like saving your money in cryptocurrency you're gonna buy bitcoin in that case you know you know your mind is clear you wouldn't wake up someday and hear that bitcoin has gone bankrupt no with bitcoin your money is protected but with other altcoins you need to monitor your investment always you need to be there to look at what what is going on and if you don't have the time then you need to pay someone who can help you with that this is for someone who have a job they are so busy, but you who don't have a job and you want cryptocurrency to be that place where you make the most of the market. You need to look at every scenario in the market that you can take advantage of. Make sure you always have money in USDT that you can either buy when you see a dip or you can either trade different aspects of the market, futures, derivatives, um, options. There are many ways you can go about in crypto to make money. You can even start your own YouTube channel, right? Or educate people about cryptocurrencies so that you can make more money and buy the crypto that you are interested in. So don't just go there and buy. Make sure you understand price actions and get in at a cheaper price. In that case, when prices goes up, you can take out profit. It comes down, you buy again. Take note of this. The market moves in circles, up and down, up and down. And I have a video that explains support and resistance. This video can help you to invest and trade in cryptocurrency sustainably, to know when to buy, when to take out profit, and when to just stay away from the market. So make sure you go and watch the video right now. If this content was helpful to you and you want me to keep creating more of such content, then you want to smash the subscribe button, thumbs up, and share this content with someone else out there. Have a nice day. And go make some money right now. Bye-bye. <laughs>